Yo, what's up? What's going on, guys? Zach or Motor Resistance here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking a look at the Weevil SMG in Black Ops 3 MP. Rhyming for days. Rap career. Told you guys it's taken off. Anyways, we are looking at the Weevil SMG here in BO3 multiplayer. And this is probably one of my favorite guns in the game. I don't think it's the best gun in the game. You know, it could use it could use a damage increase, not gonna lie, but it's really, really fun to use, and it reminds me a lot of, like, the old-school P90. We're looking back at, like, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2 days. Uh, this gun reminds me a lot of that. I don't know, maybe it's the nostalgic feeling that this thing sort of brings back of those Modern Warfare 2 COD 4 memories of using the P90, you know, just going ham on the enemies. But, uh, the Weevil is so much fun to use, in my opinion. It's not the best weapon in the game, I'm not gonna lie. I still feel like the VMP is a little bit better. You know, the ICR can be better in certain situations on certain maps, but... This is definitely one of my favorite guns to use regardless because uh, it's a it's a decent weapon overall. It's fun to use. It reminds me of the P90. It doesn't have too much recoil. And if you throw on extended mags on this thing, it's got like a 70 round clip. So you can go into like one on three, even one on four situations every now and then and come out victorious, come out alive, which is it's just a good feeling, you know? Anyways, let's go ahead and look at the class setup for this video. So, uh, personally, I like to rock three attachments on the Weevil, that being extended mags, fast mags, and foregrip. Uh, extended mags and fast mags go together so well in this game. I pretty much use them on every single weapon out there, maybe with the exception of snipers or shotguns. But LMGs, ARs, SMGs, extended mags, fast mags, that is a deadly combo in my opinion. Love having that extra ammo in a clip and that fast mag attachment allows me to reload, get back into the action faster than normal. Um, and then, like I said, I also rock grip on there because yeah I mean that the, the weevil is a good weapon especially in close range but in medium to long range situations you do notice that recoil a little bit more so grip helps out in those situations we're dropping the secondary we're dropping the lethal and tactical grenades we're throwing on four perks on this class setup those four perks being perk one flak jacket you know nades are a big deal right now in the game especially with so many low levels people love to use the frags people love to use the semtex and for some reason for some reason people love the thermite grenade, that thing's the most annoying thing ever. All of a sudden, they're just throwing their mixtape at me, and I'm burning up. So, flag jacket there to definitely help out with those situations. Perk 2, I use two perks, so rocking that perk 2 greed wild card. And I use fast hands, and I use scavenger. Scavenger's a big deal, especially with a rush heavy playstyle. You run out of ammo pretty quickly, even though this does have a pretty big mag when you have extended mags on there. Uh, it does run out of ammo fairly quickly, especially if you have a rush heavy playstyle. So playing something like ground war or something where you're constantly shooting at enemies, uh, and you're going for long streaks, you're going for nuclears, whatever it may be, uh, scavenger is going to be a big help in those situations, and then fast hands, I feel like is one of the most beneficial perks in this game, simply because it allows you to ADS faster after sprinting, which is a very big deal, if you're able to sprint, run around the map, use the movement system to your advantage, and then get that ADS up and get those first few shots off on your enemy, chances are, you're going to come out of that gunfight victorious, you're going to come out of that gunfight alive and still on your streak, and then finally, to wrap things up, in perk 3, we got gung-ho so that you can sprint and hip fire and slide and hip fire at the same time. Allows that mobile factor in that class setup to be more apparent and more noticeable, a lot more helpful for a rush heavy playstyle. And that's going to wrap things up for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did and you want to leave a like, rating, it's greatly appreciated. It helps grow the channel and it helps get this video out there for others to see. And if you guys are new and you want to catch future content like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out as well. As always, I've been Zach Mortal Resistance. I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay happy, stay positive, and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.